Hey everybody, we're now doing a uh, trial two on the smaller account. We're up against Keith Schneider. And Keith Schneider is very impressive, even just looking at his collection power. So this is a top 100 bracket that we're in. And he's up here at 36 million, which would be like, oh, he's got that new crack in energy. You know, that line I normally give to give myself an excuse. Uh, but no, if we look at his teams, this is not indicative of Kraken spending. This is not indicative of even recent spending with the Bifrost team sitting at about three stars, five. Okay, he definitely wailed on Beta and on Val, but Sylvie, he definitely didn't wail out. Uh, the rest of the teams, they're older characters and they're still not built to the, the tens or anything like that. We've got a lot of gear tier 16s popping up here. So uh, there's definitely no excuse on this. This is a big punch down. Oh, dorky. It all comes down to stage six. As it normally does, I think stage two, it'll normally come down to that too, but with a super small Sylvie and me budgeting Apocalypse to go there, I think we're going to be A-OK -okay on that one. So, let's jump in here and let's start us off with stage six. Let's, let's decide if we win or lose. You're we'll a silly goose. You're a silly goose. We'll decide if we win or lose right here, right now. I've been doing something a little different here with the stuns. I cannot use Black Widow on this account because Black Widow has more damage than the Weaver because of gear tier 18 difference. Otherwise, I would be using uh, Black Widow over, over Nova, and that would help. Um, get the stun on Quicksilver one way, on Long the other. There's also... Hmm, could also use Omega Red for turn mid rewind, which is really nice, but I super enjoy the hard stun on uh, two of them. I wonder if we need Emma here anymore. We never get defense. Down to hit. Uh, just hit fight. Stop overthinking it. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards taking 29.9 out. He's no longer giving speed down to Quicksilver, which just gets flipped and gets speed bar. We'll see how this goes, though. I often end up eating the freaking Strange Ultimate, which is becoming a big problem lately. And yeah, we definitely landed the speed. So we need to stun Quicksilver here. Okay. We like that. Now we need to stun Heartless here. Okay, we got a bunch of focus for this, so I'm not worried about that one not landing. At least not normally. Long did his ultimate, it missed. We should be able to kill that Quicksilver with this attack, which is both a good and a bad thing. Oh, this is actually really good. So this is gonna do a lot of damage to Wong. I lied. It's not going to do a lot of damage. So barely scratched one. Okay, so here's one. Here's two, and this should kill Quicksilver at the very least. Maybe even that Scarlet Witch in the back there. Not quite. Okay. We're still okay with this. So now we use the special. This pushed the the Wong into stealth, which is fantastic. And now is where we need to be careful. Oh, we have the ultimate up available. Yeah, we throw this. Land that land that trauma, please. Nice. Ooh, baby, it's all coming together. Oh, we use the basic here uh, just to, to really shred him apart. Um, special charges, I don't need it. So just kill, 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 kill. Perfect. Perfect. Not super great that she used that, but we'll see how it goes. DJ Ample coming through. What up, DJ? All right, now let's get some more charges up again. Probably should have done that on this uh, Scarlet Witch over there to try and kill Long, but that's okay. She's now stealth, perfect. Oh, Scarlet Witch is about to do her uh, her thingy madoodle though, right? Oh, no, she's not. Oh, no, she's not. Kill her. Morgan. <laughs> that would have been funny if Emma got the kill there. That would have been really funny. Basic does more damage than the ultimate, so just get her done. There you go. Don't overthink it. Sometimes overthinking it's not a good idea. Took a lot of turns there, but um, I, think, I think you always end up with a lot of turns. All right, let's hit up this with our Masters of Evil team. Here we go, Matt. Uh -huh. Two worries might be better. All right, so let's just use the special here since we're stuck on taunt. Still stuck on taunt, eh? So I guess let's activate the uh, the rogue taunt now. Oh, Dazzler got wrecked. Bishop got even more wrecked. Ah, I'm fine with this. We, our efficiency is probably going to be just fine. It's not going to be stellar, but it'll be just fine. We do the special because it does bypass dodges. 
Or not? Why didn't it bypass the dodge that time? Alright, well, we got the ability blocks. So we're not worried about that. Didn't get an ability block there. We do have trauma on the. So we landed the trauma, but didn't land the stun. That's interesting. Okay, so Kang, just get him out of here. Get him out of here, Kang. Get him out of here, Kang. You heard me? Here's your 18 year Kang, folks. He's the best. All right, here we go. New Warriors into Gamma. This is a punch down. Like I said, it's super impressive Key Schneider's up here. I'm worried about what's going to happen with his score. If he's up here with these kind of teams, like I have mid-level rank 100 teams. So if he's been up here, he's been beating people with much bigger teams than this, this current account has. I'm a little concerned with what he's going to be bringing to the table, but I guess we're going to find out. He's a special here. Not hitting uh, She-Hulk. I like this setup be better than Green Hulk in the corner. I think it's much more uh, difficult to deal with. Special would get me a kill here. So special or basic gets me a kill here, and then She-Hulk doesn't have anything to throw back at me. See that? The special here. That's a dead Hulk. And now She-Hulk has nothing to throw back at me. Right? And she does have a stun, which is annoying. And it's going to hit my... Hit dodgeable, and maybe it can't hit my my uh, Deadpool. Hey, it went for deck. Fine with that. All right, let's do this. Boom. Let's finish off this guy. Little boopa boopy. Let's do this little boopa boopa. Um, throw it back at us again. This gives us immunity safeguard. Just, just, sorry, just safeguard. Good enough. Uh, one, two more turns than we're used to. Not a fan of that. Yeah, and like I said, this guy, it feels like he must be a very efficient player. And now here's the question. So Kestrel could help me out here quite a bit, but Spider-Woman putting a good ability block on the Peggy Carter would be better. And Spider-Woman goes before Icarus does, it would also help us get a double tap. I guess the problem would be if the Spider-Woman then kills the... Oh, I guess we don't want to risk that. So let's just grab Kestrel. She's gear to 18. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. Let's see how this goes. I love Kestrel. Great character. I'm glad she's not getting the symbiote treatment. Um, Silver Surfer needed it. Love a lot more. Well, that's good. He he resisted the, the strip. That's great. Didn't resist that assist, though. There goes that. No double tap. Not surprised. We don't love that, but this will at least kill Winter Soldier. Oh, we like that. We can go for the kill here. The slow might actually get us the kills here. Basic. There we go. There we go. Let's try and get an actual kill here with the table. That'd be hilarious. We'll count it. Let's pretend that that was real. The assist from Kestrel with her having offense up. Best kiss. Rebirth does not stand a chance in that. Right. Let's just commit. Let's just commit the resources. I think it's important. Just commit it. Get it done. I don't care that it's a 550k punch down. This is the safe play. I would almost rather the Infinity Watch team take longer for the security that this brings me. I don't know if that's a good thing, a bad thing. I don't know. Ah, uh, man, it's kind of scary. The Infinity Watch team can absolutely crush your hopes and dreams. This would still be a 450k punch down. Oh, no guts, no glory. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. No guts, no glory. All right. Get the strips. Good. Archangel get the kill. Give everyone offense up. Good. Uh, Dark Beast, get yourself killed here. If I go over... Ah, ah man. Lending the ability block would be great. And not getting killed would be better. Not getting killed would be a whole lot better. Fuck. 
We need to do it though. Ah, the resist. That's a bad resist, guys. That's a really bad resist. Ouch. Oh, ouch. Big ouchers. We need speed up back on. Oh, so many buffs back. We need speed up back on our uh, Archangel here. Probably should have targeted Team Loki so I could have got the kill. Oh, no, it pushed her into, into yellow. Oh, no, 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 no. This cannot miss. Uh, I guess cannot miss is not the same as cannot be dodged. If Magneto laps, he did not lap. Oh my god, we're gonna lose this. This is why this is why you bring Apocalypse. There's so this is the this is fucking Young Avengers 2.0 with the stealth and the taunts and everything. This is this is garbage! Don't do this! Don't not bring Apocalypse! This is so stupid! Once it's done, it's done! Once it's done, you're done. This was such a bad, bad, bad idea by me. Also, the safeguard, I don't even know where the safeguard came from on this one. Such a bad idea. Always bring Apocalypse. Always bring Apocalypse. Fuck. It doesn't, it doesn't, as soon as the Bifrost is like 1.1.2 million, it doesn't matter. I don't know who the fuck you are, but you seem like a dummy. But let's let's say goodbye to you. <sighs> let's not get countered by the uh, by the the Val here. Let's still not get countered by the Val here. I forgot that Archangel cannot be counterattacked. That would have been a good thing to Let's just let this guy die. Let's let this guy die in the name of Death Archangel. Getting a vulnerable on Val. Didn't die. We did throw her into stealth again. That's something that we just love to do. We're stuck using the power punch on Loki. I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I, it just, none of it makes sense. None of it ever makes sense against this team. Nothing works. Everything's a joke. You will never have an efficient kill against the real Bifrost team. It's ridiculous. I think Crow says to attack Team Loki after Sylvie dies so Val doesn't get counterattacks. I get it. I, yeah, I get it. I've been playing around with the idea of going for the Lokis first. Uh, but then when they get into stealth, it's just, it's over. It's so annoying. But maybe we throw the big, like, maybe we throw the Apocalypse punch at them. And just say, screw this shit. You throw the Archangel attacks at Team Loki too, and you just say, not anymore. We're not playing this game anymore. This was bad. I think this lost us to Crucible. Again, I said, this guy is a very efficient player. And I did something to try and out efficiency him. If he scores in like the high fifties, but he one he one shots everything, I'd be really upset with myself for taking the risk for no reason. Go with uh, you and look, hit the king. Uh, Kingpin here is number ninety five. Let's get summons back up. Let's go ahead and peel off these uh, dodges. I know, right, Master Gilgamesh? Like, it's it's just, it's the same problem we had with uh, Young Avengers. It's, it's on health percentage trigger things, and they're fucking bullshit. And I'm not playing that game anymore. I'm not playing the, the health trigger bullshit game anymore. It's a dumb game to play. All right, let's spread all this stuff. That's good. Ability blocker here. The community, Steven. 
Young Avengers is a very good team. Okay, let's get her nice and low. Uh, let's hit Billy Block. Adam Warlock here. All right, now that is definitely nice and low, but this gets the kill on everybody. Uh, even the basic does AoE, so I guess it doesn't matter. Let it fly. We got an assist from Kingpin. Uh, let's just secure some kills, I guess. I hate leaving Gamora like that, but we gotta secure some kills. Especially from the enemies that are striker below 50% life. Like all. That's good. Now we can get back on her. We'll leave Adam Warlock because we definitely don't want to push him to. Oh, damn. We should have hit. I didn't realize this happened. We should have love tap Nebula. Perma kill. Gamora will perma kill her, though, if we can. I'd rather Gamora perma die herself. Ult here. I don't know if those bleeds will. Oh, well, she's got heal block. Those bleeds might be enough. Greg Death helps us. Very nice. Very nice. Adam Warlock dead here. Oh, oh permakill, permakill. Ugh, boys. Always use Apocalypse. Never don't use it. It's not worth it. I, I know Punch Down. It's not. 171. He was very efficient. But you know what? If you added 400 points to my total right now, you know what would happen? You know what would happen if you added 400 points to my total right now? This is why you, you don't play games. Playing games, playing stupid games wins you very stupid prizes. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.